Today I'm here with Patrick of GR Vital. Um, as I mentioned earlier, with the home, it's, we've got a focus to ensure we provide the ultimate living environment. So we're trialling quite a number of things. So not only are we focusing on air quality, but uh, something we've been doing quite a, a bit of research on is radiation from electromagnetic fields. So Patrick, what does GeoVital do uh, in this, this area? Uh, GeoVital is originally a naturopathic clinic and so we've um, basically battled with the radiation issue for uh, well, a few couple of decades now in trying to address that situation in existing homes for our patients where we found it a stumbling block to get people back to good health. Um, and yeah, basically we've become somewhat of an authority on how to uh, address those issues in a holistic manner, not just for the short term but also for the long term. And so, I mean, radiation, we know with the way technology is moving it's becoming a uh, uh, an issue that obviously exists. Um, what are the common uh, areas that radiation come from? Um, well, most commonly is the electrical wiring in your house. Um, every house has got that. Um, then there's uh, issues with power supplies and the cabling running past the property, which of course you know, contains a lot more electricity than the wiring inside your house. Uh, and then you know, ever increasing is the exposure to high frequency radiation, which is you know, from sources like mobile phone towers, smart meters, um, airport navigation systems, cordless phones, all that sort of stuff. Yeah. And without going into a, a huge amount of detail, there's obvious health impacts. Um, for people watching um, the video, where, where would the, be the best spot for them to go and research that further, do you think? And there's an incredible, incredible great amount of research on that area. Uh, our website, uh, geovital.com or geovital.com.au, um, there's a research section in there where you can um, dig a bit, delve a little bit deeper. Um, there's a, a thing called the Bio Initiative Report, uh, which was put together by, I believe, 29 international authors, amongst which 22 PhDs, and they've researched the available research on this area, and that becomes a very valuable uh, PDF file to download and great. research. Great, on your website. Yep. Um, and what uh, I, this process you can do with um, you know any consumer, any um, any of our clients, any potential clients. So what would you normally do on a visit? Um, what do you look for? Uh, um, well, in an existing home, there's different types of radiation that we typically bump into. Um, we've got low frequency electromagnetic fields from power cables, electric fields from the same wiring and high frequency radiation and um, maybe a good idea is to uh, maybe go into an existing home quickly and, and, and show you what I'm actually talking about. Great, well after we, we'll, we'll pop into a standard bedroom, a, a typical bedroom and have a look at that and uh, then take a walk around the site and see what the readings are and then after that we'll, we'll run through what some of those products are. Alright, that'd be great. Great. Um, yeah, as you saw, that reading went basically off the scale. That's what the little one on the far left uh, indicates. So that means uh, a body measurement of uh, higher than 2,000 microwatts per square meter. Um, that's way too high. We would like to see that value, well, preferably under 100 or under 70, possibly. Um, so yeah, I would definitely say that um, radiation protection to be put in place here would be uh, a good step forward. Okay, Patrick, after seeing those readings, um, surprisingly high and seeing, trying to get it down from 2,000 to, to under 100, um, if how, do you, how do you, if possible, how do you suggest we, um, we achieve that? Um, well, there's a couple of different materials to be used. Um, one not particularly suitable, I think, here, but worth discussing is shielding paint. Yep. Basically, you would apply that to, you can apply it to external walls on the outside, but it's typically used on the inside walls on top of the plastic. Right, okay. Um, and it's um, by a simple process earthed, and it shields then, it deflects high frequency radiation away, mm -hmm. um, <coughs> and um, it helps reduce the electric field exposure that we measured on your foot earlier. Yeah, gotcha. Which helps with that as well. In a, in a building like this, when you know, you've got a blank canvas, uh, it's a little bit more convenient to go for a um, shielding mesh, which is called GPA. Um, that is that can be applied basically nailed onto your framework either externally um, traditionally it's used in rendering as a reinforcement um, or it can be put on the inside of external walls um, which kind of gives you the bonus as well because this gets earth that electrical wiring which is then behind this the electric fields from that are also led away so that's a, right, that's so a deal nice with those high and low frequencies yeah, yeah so that's a nice bonus and yeah you could go you know for the entire house Wonderful, fantastic, um, or you know, if there's budget restrictions, even though you know on the budget of an entire house it's not that significant, um, the bedrooms again are key. Yeah, you know, either you know that master bedroom or either <coughs> the block of bedrooms as a whole, um, apply it there. Wonderful. Yep. So that take care of your walls. 
um, and if need be your roofing. Uh, if you go for a, a sheet metal roof, um, that does have a lot of shielding capacity to itself. So, you know, we could say, all right, well, let's put the roof in place, let's put the mesh on the walls and remeasure. Do yeah, we need right. to do that ceiling area or can we get away with it? Yeah, right. Um, fantastic. That, that leaves your windows and you know, possibly you know, balcony doors and those sorts of things uh, as um, a hole in your shielding, if you will. Um, so ideally, we have a, a shielding fabric. Um, looks like, uh, it's called Nova. It's, um, it's actually, it looks like a, would you agree it looks like a oh, natural fiber? Like normal, normal fiber. It's, yeah. yeah, well, it's, it, it's hard to say, but it, it's actually um, silver plated copper wiring encased in polyester. Amazing. Um, so yeah, it's, it's thinner than a hair. It's it's quite a, quite a feat. But we're not unique with shielding fabric. However, most of the fabrics that are out there either look nice, but the shielding is kind of irrelevant. It only shields you against low, you know, gigahertzes, like up to two gigahertz. Or you go for something that looks very unattractive uh, and has reasonable shielding. Yep. And yeah, we kind of you know the eye wants something as well. So uh, we uh, we basically have got the Nova fabric, which shields very well, right up to eight gigahertz. And actually looks attractive. Great, fantastic. Yeah. All right, that's that's good. No, with all these some solutions here, we'll go through and we'll implement um, in the uh, in the house and and come back for measurements afterwards or, or even through the process. Yep, that'd be great. Um, mate, really appreciate your time. Thank Welcome, you. Thank you.